I kind of hope that we were still on the radio. I, I really haven't properly introduced these uh, fellas. Uh, Connor Grimm is on my left playing bass from Bloomington, Indiana. And the little fellow to my right, I could say that to the radio audience, couldn't I? I mean, uh, uh, the little fellow to my right is Diedrich von Wassenauer, whose mother is American, but his father is Dutch. and He grew up in Amsterdam. These two met in Bloomington. Diedrich finished with his classical violin degree and met up Connor, and they decided with four other young fellows to start a bluegrass band called the Underhills, which are wonderful. Uh, this next song that, that we're gonna do, I had the Underhills record with me. Are there any dog lovers here? Any dog lovers out here in the audience? Um, and I'll try not to get myself in trouble. Uh, I'll tell the short version. We had a very large dog with a giant head. He was half chow, half lab. That's right. <laughs> he latched onto my wife. One person, Chow's often like one person. That was my wife. Connor was a little fella and his brother Jack were little fellas and, and nobody could pet this dog. He was trouble. And uh, I went out on the road and I went out on the road for about three weeks and, and little Jack and my wife got this notion that if we only had another dog to go around with, or, or, around with that big dog, uh, the, the world would be a better place, and our house would be especially a better place. So I came back, and there was this other black lab. And I was not asked. They simply went to the pound to look. <laughs> and I came back, and there's this other dog. So pretty much for the next six months, anything that went wrong in my world, I blamed on that dog. <laughs> uh, we were over in Europe for eight weeks during this summer, and young Jack was house-sitting. Young Jack said a couple things when we got back. He said, Dad, I decided when you were gone that you mow way too much on the farm. <laughs> Eight weeks. <laughs> Mom, I decided you, you spend too much time in your garden weeding. <laughs> Eight weeks. <laughs> this dog that I'm about to sing about learned that, that whenever Jack was out in the yard and, and she wanted to get out, she would break through the screen door. <laughs> Jack said sheepishly, she did it, only did it four times while you were gone. Well, she did it again this morning on me, so uh, this is called Blame It on the Dog. <laughs> well, the horse got out, the well ran dry, neighbor's cow trampled the garden. Bailing off the pin barn, roof came down, the ground is getting harder and harder. The front porch leaks, the back door squeaks, the weeds are choking all the flowers. My shoes are too tight, my hair's not right, the kitchen clock is losing its hours. Gonna blame it on the dog. It's all because of that dog. It's all because of that dog he brought home last summer. I said we don't need a dog. We don't need another dog. But you brought home a dog. What a bummer. Got a flat, can't find a good hat. My jeans are getting smaller and smaller. Dishwasher broke, no rough for my coke, and the kids are getting taller and taller. The rabbits ate the peas, the grass makes me sneeze. Every single car has a dent. If it were up to me, I'd be up in the tree by myself, man. Pay no rent, gonna blame it on the dog. It's all because of that dog. It's all because of that dog. He brought home last summer. I said,
the pitiful part, boys and girls. I twisted my knee, got stunned by a bee, fell into the rabbit hole. Summer's too hot, summer's too long, the kids don't laugh at my jokes. And I sneeze all the time, can't find a good rhyme. My wife claims that I snore. I'm all out of beer, it's cold in here, and there's a puddle on the floor. Because of that dog, he brought home last summer. He said we don't need a dog, we don't need another dog. She brought home.